Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about using the built-in SSH client on a Windows 10 computer. And in this video, I'm going to talk about um, auto-logging into a remote machine using the native SSH client. So what we want to do is we want to open up the command line. So I'll go down to my search and I'll type CMD. So once that comes up, I want to type CD space dot SSH. And then I can type DIR. And I'm going to look for a file in here that's like ID underscore something.pub. And I don't have one here, so I don't have a key created. So I'll just type cd space dot dot to go back to my other directory. I'll type cls to clear the screen. Now we want to generate a new key pair. So we'll type ssh dash keygen space dash t space ecdsa space dash b space 521. And I'll hit enter. And it says it's generating the public private key pair. And it's asking me where to save the file. I'm going to choose the default. And you can enter a passphrase here, but I'm going to have it blank. And that's kind of the point of this. If you want even more security, you would use a passphrase here also. And then we'll enter again. So that was just blank. And now we have it created. So if I type cd space dot ssh and type dir, you'll see we have this id underscore ecdsa.pub. So now we want to copy this key to the remote server. So I'll type scp, I'll type id underscore ecdsa.pub space, and then I'll log in. I'll type the login for the other server, the remote server. And then I'll type colon tilde forward slash, and I'll hit enter. It'll ask me for my password. I'll type that in. And now I'll actually log into the remote server. Okay, if I type ls here, we see the id underscore ecdsa. I'll type ls space dot ssh, and I'll, I'm going to look for an authorized keys um, file, and there isn't one there, so that's good. So I can type cat space id underscore ecdsa.pub. I'll type two greater than symbols, and this will append, but it'll also create a file. I didn't have a file, but if I did, I would be appending it, so it's just safer to use this. Then I'll type dot ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys. And I'll hit enter. And now I'll change the permissions of this. I'll type chmod space 600 space dot ssh forward slash and authorize keys. And I'll hit enter. So now if we type ls dash l dot ssh, we'll see we have the authorized keys there. I'll exit out of here and I will go to my home directory on my Windows machine. I'll type cls. And I'll press up till I have my login. So this is the login I use to get on the remote server. I'll hit this and it should log in automatically. And there we go. It logged in without a password. So if you're doing this, I have another video on this on my Mac. If you're doing it on other machines, you can use this ssh-copy-id. And Windows doesn't appear to have that on here. So you have to kind of do it manually. So if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.